All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we'll be installing the Prism Launcher and setting it up with a custom mod pack here today. So I downloaded the application version. You can download the portable version if you want, but I'm just going to go get started by installing this with all the stuff that it wants. All right, so once that's all done installing, you can go ahead and click finish to run the Prism launcher and i'm going to set it to american english um the icons are simple what kind of fancy ones could i get i guess they're just different colors um system widget sounds fine background is the cat from multi mc that's fine too and uh let me go ahead and add my microsoft account okay so that's pretty easy so now that we're inside of here I want to install this bigger lad game mod pack that my friend created so that all of our buddies on Discord can play Minecraft together. So I'm gonna go to add instance, and I'm gonna go to import, and then I'm going to browse for this file location, unless I can just drag and drop it in here, which would be nice, but apparently no. So I know it's just in my downloads folder, so I'll just select the bigger lad game v2, hit open, and then click OK. I didn't name that, but I'm guessing I can rename it after it's done installing. And then boom, the bigger lad game V2 is ready. And I can rename that to Pennywise Pals Server. And then boom, we're done. So now I can just double click on this to launch it whenever I want. Excellent. And that is a, a pretty hefty 1.4 gig size mod pack that he put together. So it's going to take a moment to boot. You know, only 401 things to uh, launch here. And if for whatever reason, like you start launching this and you realize that you're launching the wrong version of a mod pack or you installed the wrong version, you want to stop this and restart. You can at any time hit abort, and then when you're selecting one of these different mod packs that you've got recently imported and set up, you can just click on it, and instead of double clicking it, you can just go to the sidebar over here, and you can click on delete in order to remove it from your Prism Launcher install. Because I know in the past when I've played around with different mod packs for Minecraft, I had like three or four different versions, and sometimes you forget to name them properly and you install the wrong version. It happens sometimes. All right, so now all that stuff is done downloading and it should boot up our modded uh, pals server so that we can have a good old fun time murdering everybody. It's on Minecraft 1.20.1. So it's not super out of date. I think we're on 124 now. But yeah, so that's uh, in a nutshell is how you boot up and to get started using Prism Launcher with a custom mod pack. I'm going to go through how to give it some more RAM here in a minute because it looks like it's going to need it. Uh, until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.